They say that a week in football is a long time. Well, a year most certainly is. And almost 12 months to the day, we were here at St George's Park. Identical fixture. Harry, you remember that one well? Yeah, yeah. Sadly, we lost. But better result today, to be fair. Uh, with the one all, wasn't it? And Ben, as Harry just said there, one all. Yeah, it was a, it was a fair result at the end of the day. We didn't play that well, but it's nice to be back in with the facilities and stuff. You don't, don't come somewhere like this very often, so nice to be back. Now, unfortunately, although you both did play, you didn't play against each other because, Ben, you played the first half, Harry, the second. Yeah, I know. Uh, same as last year, uh, we didn't play against each other. Sadly, injury again for Ben, but hopefully we'll see how he is. Hopefully he can play this weekend. Yeah, it was, it was unfortunate to play against each other because obviously you love to play against someone you know, but it was just precaution for the weekend, really. I don't want to carry on and, uh, and make it worse if you get what I mean. So it just came off for, for precaution. It's not too bad, it's just a bit tight. So I'll, I'll be alright for the weekend. And hopefully you will be. You're at Glandino on loan, of course, in the JD Welsh Premier League. How's that going, Ben? Yeah, it's, it's, it's good because I'm playing more, more football, so more adult football. It's obviously a tough position that we're in, so hopefully we'll, we'll get out of that as soon as, well, hopefully as, soon as possible. Uh, we've got a big game this weekend, Newtown away. So if we can pick up three points there, it just like closes the gap from the... Uh, from the other teams and hopefully go into the next couple of games with a few wins. And over to you, Harry now, you're at Oswestry Town, scored a couple of worldies according to the club's Twitter account the other week. Do you want to talk us through those? Uh, yeah, some say the first one got a deflection, but I'm not too sure. Um, it cut off the right and it would be left foot and it, it bent into the top left. And then the second one, it was a cut back from Liam Parry. Most plays for TNS, um, onto the edge of the box and first time left foot, hit the post and went in. But uh, yeah, like Ben said, it's a good experience playing men's football, really enjoying it and hope to see where it goes. And back to today, Ben, it is an honour to represent your country because that's what you've both done today, you for the Independent Schools FA. How did that all come around in the first place? Uh, just because of the uh, the private school I go to, so it's it's all the, all the players best in their school. They go to like a trial, and then they pick the best eighteen in the in the country from the independent schools, and we just come together and, and play play as a team throughout the season. So there's only six to seven games throughout the season, but there's a tour at the end, which is which is very good at the end. Yeah. And how did you get noticed in the first place? Um, I don't know. Probably it helps that I'm at TNS as well because a few of the coaches knew that already. But I played well in the, in the trial, so I was, I was lucky to, to get in last year. But this year, I, I think I secured my place in the trial this year, so, yeah. And over to you, Harry, same question there. Again, great honour to represent your country, and you're proudly sitting there right now with the three lions on your shirt. How did you get to be recognised by the English colleges? Um, it was similar to last year, um, Steve Benyon uh, nominated me and a few others like Ethan Shaw and Alex Cadman um, and we, well, they went to the first trial, I was already automatically through to the phase two which was the last trial because I got in last year and I played really well in it and yeah, and I'm here today with the, in the England colleges. And back to today's game. Ben, you played the first 45 minutes. We were outdoors today on pitch number 10, quite a number of pitches here at the St George's Park, of course. How do you feel your own performance went? 1-1 one, one for the team in the end, but your own performance? I, I thought I did all right. I, I think I could have done better because of the, we had two sessions yesterday and a game yesterday. It's, it carries over to the next day, really, so it's, it's tough. But um, I, did, I did my position, like in my position, I did my screening and stuff well. It's it's hard in the midfield when you're by yourself in there. So it was um, it was it was all right. I played all right. And of course, it's not just the game, but it's also the the bonding as well with the other players from all around the country. Well, yeah, we've never really, apart from the players from last year, we've never really played with each other before. So it was uh, it was it's a tough 
tough time, like, amount of time to bond together and, and play the style you want to play when you've only just met each other because people have different styles of play. So it's, it, over time that will progress and then hopefully for the next game it will uh, turn into a win. So. And over to you, Harry, now. Your own performance today, you of course played the second half, uh, slightly out of position that you would consider to be your, yeah. your natural position. Yeah, I played um, as a, a straight forward, as a number nine. Um, I was told to just play off of the shoulder of the fullbacks, so I was just running the channels really. I did as much as I could, probably I could have done a bit better in some positions, but there's always room for improvement, isn't there? Well, Ari and Ben, thank you very much for your time today and, of course, massive congratulations from all of us at the New Saints on representing your country. Thanks, Cheers. Chris.